Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I will show you how you can put a calendar on your Chromebook. Now, the most there's a few things on the Chromebook which is frustrating, and one of my most annoying things is that you don't have a calendar down here in the bottom right hand corner where the time is like you would get on a Microsoft computer and it is really frustrating that you don't have that option because getting access to a calendar is really important it's a real it's you know it's something you need to do every day especially if you're busy so not having that is a bit strange hopefully they'll improve it in the future until then you've obviously got a few different apps you can install from the um, Android store um, the one I'm going to show you is the Google Calendar. And the reason why I'm going to show you the Google Calendar is because it syncs with everything that you've got on your Google account, which makes sense. If you're using your Chromebook, you're logging in with your Google account, it makes sense to use that calendar. Now, it's not perfect. It's not as good as I'd like it to be because essentially I'd just like to be able to click here and see a full month of calendar. And that's not always just to see what I've got coming up. A lot of the times, it's just to see what date a certain day falls on or what day a certain date falls on, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but So it is a bit frustrating for that, but at least it does give you the ability to have a calendar that you can access relatively quickly. So first of all, you'd need to make sure it's installed. I do have it installed, um, and I'll just quickly show you. If you don't, check to see if you have it installed. Um, if you do... You'd have to go, oh, sorry, I'll just minimize this. If you do have it installed, you would have to go to your apps and check. Now, there you can see I've got it there. If you don't, just go to the Play Store and type in Google Calendar. And there, I've got it installed, so it's got open. If you don't have it installed, it will say install. Now, once you've installed it, you might have to go through some settings to say what you want it to share and what you don't want it to share. It'll ask you whether you want to share your contacts and information like that. So you go through all of that. Once you've installed it, go back to your launcher here at the bottom, left click on that, and click up there. It, it is there, but you can't do what we need to do from here because we need to right click on it. Um, so click on there and then from here, find it, just right click and pin to shelf. Now, once you've done that, it does mean that you can, although it's not as quick as going, ah, right, that's the date that I need. Or, oh, I've got, I've got something going on that day. Let's have a look. It's not as quick as that, which will be great. Hopefully, we'll see it in the future. Um, you can now just click on there. And it will bring up your calendar. And at least it does bring up a whole month as well. So it, it, it is, it's, not, it's not too bad at all. Um, and it's, it's quite good for that. Although it would be good to have it, you know, the more we do add to Chrome OS, don't get me wrong, I would like to see it. It does mean it will bulk up the operating system so we don't want that too much we do want to see the operating system say streamlined but i think this is a good alternative so i hope you liked the video if you did please like below and subscribe to the channel because i'll be making many more videos small how-to videos um, to help you um, get the most out of your chromebook or chromebooks so thanks for watching bye